Hi, in this lesson we are going to learn about Photoshop Layers. Photoshop Layers is the most powerful features inside the Photoshop. With this feature, you can edit your documents anytime. We can call layers as stacking orders. Also, you can use this option to make make any kind of artwork. Okay, let's go with the practical work to know more about the layers. We are going to file and new document. In here, we will uh, with we'll put the 500 and height 500. Resolution 72 is OK and uh, background is white and hit OK. This one and so again go to file. So then go to open layers practice and select this all the layers and open this all also. So what we're going to do, we are going to make some artwork with these layers. Okay, first things what you have to do, go to the window and arrange, float all in window. So now all the windows is has floated to the screen. Now you can minimize or if you want, you can keep as it is. For me, for the my work, so I will minimize it. Very, so it's easy for me. Like this, you can minimize. Your, all the layers like that. And now you have your open background. So while scrolling your mouse wheel, so you can zoom in or zoom out like this okay now we have your background in here we are going to make our artwork and in here you can see your background is locked you want you can unlock or whatever so i keep my background is locked like that and then in here so i will so open this also and so I will fit this all to the my screen. Same here. This is the artwork, and so I has done before this one for you to show. And we are going to make like this with our this new layers. Okay, you can see like a some message you can see some message in there but there's no any letters but with this image you can image some message okay all right let's go with our work and so here we'll drag our this layers to into our working space okay like this with the mouse drag and drop your layers into this so in here also because this layers is very large what you should have to do before drag this layer into here you can minimize this layer so in here so what we have to do i will hit the delete key here i delete that then I'll click this layer. I'll make a little minimize with holding shift key. Otherwise, it will be not the problem. Okay, no, 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 no. Like that. Then tick this right one. Stop there. Drag and drop your layers here. Yeah. If you want, you can minimize here. Otherwise, if you want, you can close in here. Whatever you want to do, you do. For myself, I do minimize. Because if I change mine, anything in there, so it's still like we have to resize. When you want to resize, 
with this point you can click the mouse point and hold the shift key then you can minimize like that then release the mouse point again drag this into middle hold the shift key like that and so you can that like that until to finish when it okay with your working area at least then now then you can resize like that clear this good you can minimize so you can resize whatever you want to do you can do it that so in here hit the okay button then I have one layer I have to bring another one this roll okay so same thing much better I will make a little small in here then hit the ok then I will bring this object to here still it's also very big because pixels is big so what do you do same thing we will uh, resizing while holding our shift key and okay. still not done just try it like that in here this one there and because I want to arrange my background I'm going to arrange my background this one like a dark dark sky like a it's not a happy sky so it's also much better to resize because it's very big, like a very big layer. I just make it small and okay. Then I do it here. It's still very big. Still very big. But it's okay. So do the same things. This object. All in this one. Now from bottom I have to minimize this dark sky sky like that. Okay, at least okay. Like that. Then I'm going to arrange these things together to create the image. like this in here this is the layer palette in here you can change you can bring this objects up and down because my objects like proper time I bring the correct layers and I drop here otherwise if it's overlap your layers so then you can arrange it see like this it's not like a little bit different now so for that purpose you can arrange like that see sky behind the mountain okay should be natural so, otherwise it's not okay so then uh, we bring uh, another object into this and uh, this symmetry okay better to resize this also before then finding the other step in here drag and drop into this gear okay so now same things you have to do the size like that now I feel like 
was then with this one in the everything as cover behind that so for that but I'm going to do with this layer Let's keep this on there finally and hit ok so I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer when you are reducing opacity you can see what happened to it, that layer oh. you see what I'm going to do still more I don't like this much I want to see that drop now I select my eraser to my brush opacity and I make it a small this don't worry about these tools whatever I'm using right now because in future exercise I'm so I will teach you about more about the this uh, exercise okay now this is actually eraser tools not the, the tool so you have so when you want to like erase something so then you can use this eraser tool then while you, you change its opacity that uh, so erasing uh, so it will not erasing the like all the image it's like a, like some percentage so you can see it here so while i'm doing this first second but i want like this because in your role now here so, Otherwise, not look but look like a nice video. So there's many ways to in here. I because I don't want to work with all the things you will get in. If I work with the all the tools, then you will can can confuse because of that one. What I want so yeah. when you erasing like this, so erasing only the you selected layer. See here, so like if you want, you can better better things. You can rename these layers, so you can double click in here. You can give like a same like that okay what is and in here this background you can it's much better you can read them then you can identify which layers it is in you are selecting so in here i will give the name uh, row 20 okay enter button and in here i select this one which one it is this is sky dark sky dark sky right and for the this layer i will give which one it is rock mount rock mount you like that whatever you have to do you can give what i like i will give that so this for me and when you are working so you can do as you like now done. Okay. This is okay for me. And now go to your this you know before lesson I teach you about this tool, very important tool, more tool. When you want to work with something, select that tool like that. 
Okay, and still I'm not okay with symmetry. Symmetry, yep. And I will remove this opacity. So then I'm going to bring another these people, this soldier, children, soldier, 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 people, children, soldiers. We are expect for them. So, I love soldier. That's why I decide to my work, my practical work. With this kind of image without them we can't survive in this so, without them no. all right we we'll keep this like that because actually this this is for your practical purpose only and uh, whatever you saw that image in here there is very is now this image the same things um, I'm going to show you that's why I'm like that maybe a little bit difference because I'm not following that one so next on this airplane Like a jet, what will like a rock. Okay, these are okay. What about this guy? No, he's not going to there. Okay, let's see. We didn't get, we don't know what to come with this one. Yes, He didn't get back on copy. So we just ask him by for the other thing. Ask him. What's your problem with me? You don't? No other one. Okay. You think this one first. Let's see why they don't want to do this. And this also you are resize while holding shift key and left mouse like that. other one this one this one this you don't want to run okay let's, let's try with this okay. it's too big because it's very powerful Where are we going to drop this one? Like that. It will not match it. What I'm going to do, go to the edit and go to transform 
Okay. Why selecting this object? Because I want to turn this object to other side. Okay. So for that, what I have to do? Select this object and this points also very important. This start before I teach you about this control. This is tra transform controls. In here, you have to select the transform control. Otherwise, it will not be bearing. So all the transform controls like that. Okay. Then go to edit transform and flip horizontal okay see we turn to the i want to flip it like this like this like this like that shape for my okay and Okay, then I want to reduce this opacity also. Okay. So I think I got all the images in here. this yep, yep okay otherwise can't see can't see that okay So you can give the name to this object also. You can see like front end soldier so whatever you are playing and one check is there. You can double click in here so then you can give the name for these things also. Actually I show this everything for you because this all of your uh, practical purpose. So that's all. This is all about the layers. Now you know what is the layers, how to arrange the layers and everything what you have to do do more practice too then only you will become an act like a very familiar with the photoshop and like a become a good photoshop work okay more practice will give more accurate with the in the photoshop then you have to learn you have to practice more and when you want to get some uh, free images and there's a lot of free images website is there download the free images and so that you can make like this images and we will meet with the next exercise thank you for watching don't forget to make a subscribe and hit the like button and share with your friends because it's much better to share our knowledge with others okay all right thank you very much have a good day